Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn another operator that is ignore elements. So this is also comes under the filtering category operator. What is this ignore elements will do is, so this will filter all the values that are in the source observable regarding no conditions, nothing. So it will filter all the values, ignores all the elements emitted by the source observable and just only passes when the source observable is completed or it, or it comes with any error. That's it. Now, ignore elements is nothing but the name itself indicates that it ignores all the values that are coming from the source observable and only executes it only executes the complete or the error callback function. That's it. In other words, like what, uh, what I can say is that RxJS ignore elements operator suppresses all the items so that means all the values that are emitted by the source observable and only allows it's the termination notification termination notification means nothing but the complete whether it is complete or the error it will allow only that complete or error to pass through the operator that is the ignore elements so it doesn't have any parameters or anything just it's a straightforward whatever the values coming from the source observable it will completely ignore all the elements and just calls when it is completed only. That's it. There are no parameters, nothing. So it is pretty straightforward, this uh, operator. And the, it returns nothing. It returns nothing. So it returns just an empty observable. So you learn about this empty also, empty observable also. I will show you when we need to return an empty observable, how we can return an empty observable. This empty observable will only call the complete or the error. It doesn't call any subscribe method or anything. So based on which one is called is called by the source observable. Now here if you try to see the marble diagram, here we are having a source observable which emits the value and in this source observable we are able to see that we are emitting the values A, B, C, D. That means the source observable is emitting values A, B, C and D and it is calling the complete. Now when you pass the, uh, when you pass the source observable to the ignore elements operator and you can see that all the values have been ignored and only the complete will be called here. So that is the ignore element. The ignore elements suppress all the items emitted by the but allows its termination notification what we have learned. If you do not care about the items emitted by an observable. So when we need to use this application, uh, when we will be using this operator is when you don't want, when you do not care about the items being emitted by an observable. So if you don't want these all observables, but you want only the notification when this observable is completed or otherwise when it raises an error or anything. If you want to know a, a when the observable is completed or when the observable is, uh, uh, thrown, is throwing error or anything, if you want to know about that one only and you don't want to uh, care about this all the values, then you can call, you can use this ignore elements operator to the observer, which will ensure that it will never call its observers next hand layer. So that means where it will never call the subscribe, it will call only the complete or error. Okay, that is about the ignore elements operator. Let's try to see the practical implementation of this one. So I am creating JNG GC pages or otherwise I have already created. So let's try to use this one ignore elements operator and here in this operators dot HTML. Okay. I will go here and I will use this one ignore elements and here I will add ignore elements. I can use yeah ignore elements. And let's go to the app routing module.ts file. And here in this one, let's copy this one. And here I will write ignore elements. Okay. And here I can use the component which we have created ignore elements operator component. Yeah. Let's go to the ignore elements operator component. So ts file. Now here I will be having an observable of okay so here this one will be emptying the values one two three four and if you subscribe to this one data and here if i do the console.log of data okay and here i will use the error callback console.log of error sorry i can use console.log of error and here I can use the complete. So console.log of sorry, not complete. Complete will doesn't have any parameters. It will not get any parameters. Console.log complete. So now let's try to see whether these values will be displayed or not. So if I try to see subscribe and all those things, 
I will be I will be using the operator. I don't want to care about I don't care about these all the operators about all the values that are coming from the observable. I just want to know when this observable is complete. So I can use simply ignore elements. Okay, I can use this one ignore element. Now let's try to see the output. So if I try to see the output here, let's refresh this one. Yeah, is ignore elements. If I click on the ignore element, see immediately it calls the complete. So that means whatever the values that are emitted by this observable so it is not getting into the subscribe data it is directly calling the complete handler now let's let's see the same output what i will be doing is interval so i am calling an interval so which will send the values for every thousand and here i will be taking that so take only five okay so if i call this interval so i need to import it at the top in the rxjs and take in the rxjs slash operators so here you need to add it import now if you take a 5 and these all things now if you try to see it will wait until the 5 values has been emptied so it will wait until the 5 values has been emptied directly doesn't call the complete so now if we try to see if i try to refresh this page okay if i try to refresh this page now it will wait for 5 seconds until the interval is completed then only it will throw the complete see so that is the thing of the thing so now it will wait until the source observable is complete so you ca you cannot think that ignore elements if you use the ignore elements means immediately it will call the complete don't think like don't think like that until the source observable is completed only it, uh, until it is completed only then only it will call the complete uh, so before that it will not call the complete okay so this is about the ignore elements operator okay so hope you understood about this ignore elements operator it's a pretty straightforward so there it doesn't have any parameters or anything just it will ignore all the values and just it will call the complete or error if any error comes here means so it will call the error that's it so i hope you understand about this one so i have a telegram channel so group sorry group i have created a telegram group so the link is provided in the description if you want to join in the group you can join so that we can share all the knowledge or any updates and if you have any doubts we can we can talk here so that uh, anybody who knows the answer also they can give the reply okay hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and also if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you